this is specifically for students who want to learn Python, um, but maybe uh, you know their typing skills aren't quite all there, or they just have trouble you know remembering a lot of the symbols uh, you might run into Python. Um, we essentially have a sort of simpler version uh, that's um, closer to the idea of Scratch, where they can drag and drop blocks to code anything that they like, except they're learning an actual language that they can take with them at higher and higher levels. Uh, so this is uh, specifically what our Java blocks looks like, but essentially Python blocks uh, works exactly the same way, where they'll be able to drag and drop blocks, click them together to write their code, um, and most of the typing is relegated to blocks for them. So the Py2A class is a great introduction for students who want to learn type Python, but maybe don't have like the typing speed or keyboard mechanics yet and they can learn those higher level concepts of how functions and variables and lists all work together without needing to learn the low level syntax and type it all out themselves. So it can be a great introduction to Python and then it'll be extra ready at the end to transition into our Python level three class. You know, with the difference uh, between Python and Java, usually Java is a bit more specific about everything. When you're making uh, variables to store different uh, data, you need to say what kind uh, you need to make, right? Um, which can be a little bit difficult for new students to keep track of, but also, you know, is really nice to teach those specific materials. So I think definitely for students that just want to uh, explore code and try things out, Python is nice because it'll take care of a few Few things uh, for you and, and just let you explore and create. So in terms of the projects they'll make, uh, there won't be a ton of a difference. They'll still be able to make the same games, art projects, um, music projects, all within our coder. The main difference is whatever their goals are after that class. So if they'd like to learn more of Python concepts and in order to be able to code in Python on their own later on, maybe they have their site set down the line on a particular Python project or game they want to build, Py2A is a great introduction to that. Whereas Fun2A leads into our standard Java core curriculum. So if they're looking at that progression and learning Java seems more appealing, then Fun2A is the place for them. So uh, yeah, taking the, the Python class, they should expect uh, 18 uh, lessons um, and with, a, uh, with a live instructor. Um, but uh, unlike many of our other classes, it doesn't come with uh, office hours where they can come in with questions on their homework and, and get help through that, um, as well as uh, makeup videos that they can watch if they miss a class. Yeah, so that's a great thing. There's nothing to download. So uh, with Pi 2A, uh, everything is done inside of our Coder Classroom, and so they just need to log into the website and everything they need will be right there. And uh, also for Pi 3A, um, it all, everything will be in our virtual machine that you can also access by just logging into the website. So everything will be here. Uh, everything will be downloaded uh, in the virtual machines the way they need. Uh, and you don't need to do anything on your part.